Welcome to Louis Vuitton Airlines, where the peanuts are always free. Hi, I'm Emma Chamberlain, this is May. Today she's gonna be doing my nails while Louis Vuitton interviews me, which is like my dream situation. I love getting my nails done, so let's do it. I am so much more prepared for the show than I was last time. I had no idea what I was getting myself into last time. One of the main things that I think frightened me was the paparazzi aspect. That's the thing I don't like. <laughs> but now I know what I'm getting myself into, I'm ready. Now I'm pumped, not nervous. Whereas last time I was nervous and pumped, but like more nervous. Yeah. Last show, first show ever, had not met Nicola. This year, we're actually best friends. It's one of those things where it's like, he doesn't really know it yet, but like, I know it and that's all that matters. You know, I'm gonna see him and like, dap him up like he's my homie. He's gonna be like, who are you? I'm gonna be like, oh, you know. And then I'm gonna start telling him about the fan club that I'm starting for him. And he's gonna probably get a little bit frightened, but I'll reassure him that everything's okay. I love him. You know, I would take Nicola if he was visiting me in LA, cause you know, now that we're besties, like that's definitely gonna happen at some point. I would definitely take him to get coffee at my favorite coffee spots. Also, I would take him to a cycling class. Just, you know, we gotta sweat it out as buddies. It's really important for bonding. I actually love going to cycling classes with my friends, so he needs to experience that at some point. That's about it. That's all I really do anyway. And he can come like watch movies at my house with me if he wanted. Kinda sounds creepy, but like not in a creepy way, like just a fun way. at the airport. Okay, so I guess the show's at the airport, which is funny because I was just at the airport, what, 10 hours ago, eight hours ago? So I landed here, was at the airport, and then got off the plane, took a nap, and then now I'm going back to the airport, which is fine, because I actually like the vibe of airports. I like the vibe of, why can I not say that? It won't roll off my tongue. I like the vibe of, I swear to God. I like the vibe of airports because you kind of don't really know what time it is in there. Kind of seems like a little bit, like it's a different dimension. So I kind of think it's a genius place to have a fashion show. Just me. I don't know. Oh my God, these look amazing. Okay. I kind of want to go shopping while I'm here. Don't know if I'm gonna have time, but if I do, like, let's go crazy. There's a lot of good shopping in the area I'm staying too. So like, it's dangerous. I was in New York like a week ago, literally, but I was in Brooklyn. I've been to New York probably four times and I like New York, but I love Brooklyn because it's so much more chill and it reminds me of San Francisco, which is like near where I grew up, but I love New York City too. It's just like a little bit intense for me. Everybody's like kind of, uh, kind of blunt and like just, you know, pushing through the streets. It's loud and like whatever. Um, it's definitely fun. Wouldn't live in New York City but I do like it and it has a really great energy. But I would live in Brooklyn, maybe, but I don't think I ever will because I don't like the snow. So, I don't know. I actually love this question. I have a very specific way that I pick out outfits because it's impossible to just go into your closet and be like, okay, like, where do I start? And start pulling things. So usually what I do is, is I'll pick out one piece, whether that's a pair of pants, shirt, even shoes. And then I'll just start narrowing down what would match with that one piece. And the next thing you know, I have an outfit and I'll just go in my closet, try things on, rip things off, make a huge pile of clothes that were in the no-no pile. And then that takes a long time to clean up. And then I have an outfit. I used to take inspiration from things like Pinterest or you know other people's outfits that I saw on social media, but I don't really do that anymore because I, like, I don't like being inspired by other people when it comes to clothes. I like when I'm like, did it myself. And then if anybody's like, where'd you get your inspiration? I'm like, from my freaking brain. Being paparazzi like I was in Paris was the most surreal moment of my entire life. I've never felt anything remotely like that. I felt like important, but I also felt like I was not important enough all at the same time. But I also felt like super cool, but I also felt like I'm way too nerdy for this and there's no way I look good while doing this. And it was crazy. It's one of those things that I could not picture myself doing. And then when I did it, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, who knows what my next surreal moment of 2019 will be. I can totally hand model. Come in here. 
Thank you, girl. Thank you. You Emma. killed it. Yes. We're ready. Lightning round. Car vlogging, annoying. Blonde. More mature, still a little bit dumb. Car vlogging. <laughs> oh, necessity, tasty, and hot. But not actually, like metaphorically. Beautiful, inspiring, God. Oh, vibes. Fun times, 10. I hated that answer, but I'm leaving it though. I keep it, because it's true. Old, boring, possibly have children at that point. Possibly be married. Sorry, was, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> I can't. Ugh, non-existent, sleeping in bed all day, no gifts. I hate birthdays. I don't like them. And so my birthday this year doesn't exist. How many words is that, like 40? Okay, keep going. Buy lottery tickets, live alone, and pay your own rent. There it is. Even though I already like, do all those things anyways. So I don't know. You buy lottery tickets? Oh, not that part. Sweaty, emotional, violent. Frosting, shredded cheese, frozen fruits that you're too lazy to put into a blender and make a smoothie so you just eat them by themselves. That answer was too easy for me. Oh my God, wait, that's so funny. Okay, fantasy, nothing happened, no DM. <laughs> Vibes, coffee. Talk about vibes. That was some serious vibes. Okay, I was feeling it. I literally like zoned out at one point and it was just like. All the looks gave me cool retro vibes a little bit. I love the fact that it's in an airport and it ended up being like, Way more like, I don't know, like the airport feel worked so well. It really created a whole mood. Thank you, Louis Vuitton, that was amazing. Nicola, you are missing. How was that accent? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun watching me get these crazy nails done. I had so much fun. And I love you all, and I hope you have a great day and a great week. Do you know what? F*** it. Have a great year. Have a great life. I love you. Bye. I didn't know my body could move like that. I'm having too much fun. I just spit, but I'm having too much fun. See, now I'm all jaded in the nail department because now I'm never gonna wanna get a plain manicure ever again. And now I'm gonna be like every two weeks, like one like gem falls off and I'm like back in the salon, like fix it.